What's up YouTube, Capital G here. So we're talking about this new Burning Abyss card that I believe is about to come out shortly in the OCG. Kunami is currently in, I guess, Burning Abyss, like extravaganza mode, and they're hyping up Burning Abyss, trying to get players really enthusiastic and excited about the archetype. And in the process, they decided to give Burning Abyss their own exclusive card to the OCG. Now, we knew about this card's existence uh, kind of like a couple of weeks ago. And when I saw it, I was like, wait, whoa there? Like, hold on. So you're telling me a, t a, a, a archetype that was TCG exclusive for an entire year is now going to get an OCG exclusive card? I was like, wait, what the, What type of assist is that vague? We've had this archetype for a year. They've been continually giving us support. Like, why hasn't this card ever seen the light in the OCG? And it actually does follow the story. Um, the name of the card is Beatrice, the Eternal Lady. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Beatrice is the Beatrice is the, the girl that Dante is essentially trying to save in Dante's Inferno, the poem and also like the video game one whatnot so when i saw onyx c i was like okay and you know it being like it being burning abyss it being ba everything kind of revolves around the number six you know what i mean i don't know if that's because like there's a deeper meaning or whatever or just because six has natural synergy in the deck i think it's because six has natural synergy virgil's level six malakota is level six um well Dante is two threes, which, you know, or excuse me, um, to make Dante, yeah, you need two threes. So it, it, it kind of makes sense that it would be a rank six exceed. But when I saw that Beatrice was a rank six exceed, I was like, okay, well, we can fucking throw this card out. Cause like, how the hell are you going to summon this? Use two Virgils. I was like, if you use two Virgils, this card had better be insanely broke. Because if you detach Virgil as an exceed material, it will not get the effect. Uh, I believe Malak Malakota almost certainly has an effect that when, um, will activate when it hits the graveyard because like all BAs do. Um, if this card is sent from the, you can target card on the field. Send yeah, okay. So I was like, Malakota won't trigger, Virgin won't trigger. So I don't really want to use those as exceed materials. But luckily, this card lets you cheat around the system. Okay, so um, this is Beatrice, the Eternal Lady. She's a light fairy exceed monster. Um, she has twenty five hundred attack. That seems to be like a very relevant number with burning abyss uh, virgil and dante both 2500 2800 defense which is cool you can just put her big ass in defense mode not have to worry about her ever getting run over pretty much the same thing that people do with dante you just stall um against like yeah, if you're playing against like um you're playing against like cosmo you can just summon her put her in defense mode have fun for a runner trying to run her ass over unless you have an honest or a limiter i mean you're pretty much not getting over this bitch uh, it requires two level sixes, but it also says in the effect, you can also exceed summon this card by sending one Burning Abyss monster from your hand to the graveyard and using a one Dante monster you control as exceed material. Um, exceed materials attached to that monster also become exceed materials on this card. So essentially, they just transfer. As soon as I saw that, I was like, "Holy crap! This card is in like this card is easily much more playable now because now you can." summon this turn one i mean oh just summon tour guide go into dante like you usually would oh you got a sear in your hand that you can't trigger okay we'll just send it to the graveyard <laughs> activate its effect summon this chicken defense mode yeah you don't get the mill but you can still summon her like really really easily you know she has uh defense that's a little higher than dante let's continue on with the effect you cannot activate uh this card's effect during or you cannot activate this card's effect during the turn you special summoned it this way so if you special summon it that way you can't use its effect effect number one once per turn during either player's turn a quick effect i, auto, I automatically like that <laughs> you can detach one xc material from this card send one card from your deck to the graveyard uh that's that's pretty crazy man she has a built-in foolish burial and having a built-in foolish burial is already good in Yu-Gi-Oh. like that's been proven like countless times mathematician and armageddon knight dark greffer all these other cards that are even specific like people use those let alone foolish barrier has been limited for forever but the fact is and burning abyss it's even more mind-blowing i mean the, the she can she can even if you're low enough she can even burn you for game you know uh w what's the burning abyss that you send to the graveyard um i think it's babar right yeah, you can actually send Babar to the graveyard and, like, randomly burn your opponent for game. That's that's insane. The fact that she gives the deck so much utility. Like, I can just send any of them. Oh, your opponent summons a monster? All right, I'll just I'll send Farfetch to the graveyard. I'll banish it so your monster is no threat to me. So, uh, effect number one is clearly it's really good. Um, effect number two. 
uh, you, if this card is destroyed by your opponent and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one BA monster from your extra deck, ignoring the summoning conditions. That is pretty damn good. And to be completely honest, it, it like now you can just you can just splash in one copy of Dante Pilgrim and don't even have to worry about like uh, it being wasted space because mm, if it's if this card dies and it probably will die, you just summon it and the thing is what's kind of crazy is they didn't put any restrictions on the monster that you summon like they didn't they didn't say that it can't attack they didn't say that it has its effect negated nothing <laughs> obviously when dante dies the, the the this dante not not the regular one when dante program uh, dies he'll blow something up on the field but i mean you can obviously just use his effect to draw cards i mean this card seems pretty damn amazing like this would be an automatic i'm thinking probably a one of and in current burning abyss yeah I, I would say probably a one of if tour guy was still at three this card would be like a two of but with tour guy at one this card would be uh definitely like a one of maybe a two of but i think that this card when it gets to the tcg if burning abyss are still in their current state or if they're still like really good i think that this card is absolutely mandatory for the deck um the fact is it's very easy to summon the foolish burial effect gives the deck crazy utility you can use the effect during both turns when it uh when it dies you can just summon a virgil you can summon a, a dante pilgrim you can summon the regular dante without pretty much any cost they will pay for themselves when they die too so obviously they're just continuing on with the float ability of burning abyss this is an amazing card and i, I i'm just i'm upset that it's not in the tcg like i I really hope we don't have to wait a year and a half for this because Burning Abyss will probably not be relevant. But if there is some way that they can give us this card with by by like the end of the year, that would be awesome, guys. So let me know what you guys think. I, I was a I felt a little type of way when I learned that BA were getting an OCD exclusive, and now I feel a, a, a even more so like salty and a little offended because the monster is freaking fantastic man like this is this is definitely better than dante pilgrim like this is right behind virgil and dante it's it's better than malakota because it's, it's so much easier to summon so anyways thank you guys for watching as always